Really crazy story to start off your day. This little guy right here was born twice. Margaret Boomer, who was the mom, well, she was told at her 16-week ultrasound that they found a tumor. So the doctor said the only hope of saving this baby was to perform a life-saving operation. So they had to actually remove the fetus from the womb for 20 minutes and then put this little guy back inside the womb. So they had to deliver this baby. The baby, when it was delivered at that point, was only one pound. Just the smallest thing ever. The operation was a success. And about 12 weeks later, after the full term of the pregnancy, this little girl was born weighing 5 pounds, 5 ounces. Isn't she just the cutest little thing ever? And she might be the only baby in the world to have been born twice, which is just so incredible on how far our technology has come. Moving on, Hillary Clinton has gained more points on Donald Trump at the presidential polls. These are the pre-polls. They could mean nothing. They could mean everything. But it does give us a little bit of information on where the directions of these votes are going. Hillary Clinton now has a 12-point lead on Donald Trump to put her at 50% of the votes. Donald Trump has about 38% of the votes and for some reason on Donald Trump's social media, his social media is the only place where he's leading. This really does show you that Hillary Clinton did win the third presidential debate though because these numbers, well they keep going in her favor. Donald Trump's strongest group of voters remains to be white people, non-college educated voters. This presidential official votes are just around the corner. So the official votes, it happens on Tuesday, November the 8th. I'm going to be in Tokyo, Japan during this time, but I'll for sure be watching this on TV somehow or follow this on my phone. This is huge. And I'm going to talk about something else later on in this video. Something really big might be going on during the presidential voting time. But who do you guys think is going to win the presidential race? All right, AT&T is in the middle right now of acquiring mega company Time Warner. Time Warner is a New York-based company that owns HBO, CNN, TNT, and Warner Brothers Film Studios, and that's just the name of a few of their assets. This is an $85.4 billion deal. So this is a telecommunications company coming together with a cable company which could create a lot of new experiences for customers. Well, what are those experiences or cool things that's gonna come? Well, we don't know yet. But the company did say that they wanna try to package deals together so you can have phone and cable together. This next video has been all over the internet. It's a guy who's attempted to drive his impounded car off a tow truck. I have no idea what this guy was thinking. <laughs> The Walking Dead has been talking about so much right now. I'm so behind on the show. I'm not even sure where I'm at. But take a look at this sneak peek for the next episode. What is this place? Where the people here, you know, they, um, they call this place the kingdom. I have not seen this place where they're at before, so I'm like way far behind. Everything just looks so developed. Maybe this is just new in the new season. So the trailer for this episode is going to be airing in just the next few days, October 30th, just the day before Halloween. And apparently something big during the premiere of the new season has happened, which is season 7 that we're on right now. So I have to get caught up and see what everyone is talking about. But in case you guys missed it, here's a sneak peek trailer of this premiere episode, which is season 7. Not today, not tomorrow, but I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so there wasn't too much revealed in this trailer, but Rick looks to be in a horrible position right now. I'm not sure how he got into it. Are you guys watching The Walking Dead? Stephen Hawking is in the news right now. He's warning people that AI, which is artificial intelligence, well, they could lead to the destruction of humanity. And that's if people doesn't kill people first. He said artificial intelligence is slowly creeping into our lives, and you can see it through the digital assistants living in our smartphones and the promise of fully automated vehicles in the near future. It's almost like we don't have to do anything soon. Yesterday, I talked about how there was a huge DDoS attack that attacked Netflix, PayPal, a whole bunch of other companies in the States. This is now being named probably the biggest DDoS attack in US history. Some people are now saying that this attack was only a test and it could be much bigger. A lot of people are saying that the internet might be down on election day and this is to mess with the American election this year. This has been one of the most talked about things and I'm sure the security is at its highest right now. I'm not sure if this is even possible to shut 
down the internet in America. If that does happen, I'm sure the FBI and many, many other like high security companies is gonna look into this. They're gonna find out who's behind it and those people are gonna be put to prison for the rest of their lives. It's really scary what's going on, but I got some YouTube news for you guys. Roman now it came up with a new app called the Smile Inc. He has his company called Smile More, so Smile Inc. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. He tweeted this out after he released the game. This is insane. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the incredible support. Over 1 million downloads in less than 24 hours. Unreal. I mean, that is just insane. I also downloaded it. I wanted to see what the hype's about. I wanted to check it out. And a lot of YouTubers have been coming up with apps on you. I know PewDiePie came up with, like, PewDiePie Simulator or something like that. Well, this is a Roman Atwood game. It's free to download. I'll link to it down there in the description below. Roman Atwood, I'm sure, is going to be making a ton of money off of this because the game is free to download but there's a lot of in-game app purchases. FuzzyTube has been on the big screen for the past few days now. He appeared in the new Tyler Perry's movie called Boo! A Medea Halloween. Apparently he has been all over the movie. He's in some solid scenes. He's, he has a lot of talking lines. I haven't seen it yet. Right now FuzzyTube also announced that he received another big audition and if he gets that, if that goes well, he's going to be in another big blockbuster movie. And this will really launch his career into the Hollywood world. It's nice to see the transition from YouTubers getting into Hollywood. And also we've seen the other way around, Hollywooders coming into YouTube. So it's a nice blend, it's a nice mix. I like it. So Boo and Medea Halloween landed themselves in the top spot at the box office, bringing in over $27 million, which is a huge number considering a lot of good movies actually came out over the weekend. This movie beat out Jack Reacher Never Go Back, in which I watched it the other night and yeah, it was an okay movie. It wasn't the greatest. So that movie made about $23 million. And Ouija, Origin of Evil, brought in just over $14 million. And they landed themselves third at the box office. I do want to see the boot of Medea Halloween because FujiTube's in it. But I don't know. Is it good? Have you guys seen it? A movie I for sure want to see is Ouija. It looks super scary. I was going to go to the premiere of it. But we just... I think I got a little scared. Daddy. Are you there? Who are you? Well, that's all the news stories I got for you guys today. I'm so glad I'm back making videos. And if you guys want an update, don't forget to check out my vlog channel, Atlanta Production Vlogs. Today, I'm actually going to the gym for the first time in two weeks. I feel great. I'm making videos for you guys every day again. Back at the gym. I'm overcoming all these health issues I've been having. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we do this whole thing all over again tomorrow.